Hi there, Stuck at Homers. So today we're going to talk about uh, creativity and how to be more creative. And also the qualities that enhance that creativity and allow it to go to the next step. That time of feeling empty, that time of feeling restless. I don't know what to make. I don't feel like making anything. Um, the creative process is very response-able. You have to be responsible to yourself in your process. In addition to the five stages of creativity and the creative process, there's various qualities. Qualities that nourish your creativity will include risking being ridiculous, relinquishing control to follow the spark, being a beginner, being willing to fail, being willing to embrace chaos, and asking for help. So today, I don't feel very inspired. I'm not sure what to do next, but I'm going to follow the process. So the qualities include being willing to take a risk. Are you willing to look foolish temporarily? Can you embrace that? The dramatic reenactment. Can you relinquish control? Even a potter who makes beautiful, beautiful vases has to relinquish control a little bit to follow what the clay wants to be. We don't just enforce our will. And that might be one of the most important things about uh, being an artist, being creative. You have an idea, you begin to implement it, but you follow where it leads. Honoring the darkness. If you plant a seed in the ground, you have to step back and allow it to germinate. Allow it to grow. The same is true of your idea. If you plant a seed in the ground and then you go out every night and you uncover it and you take the earth off of it and you look at it to see how it's doing, it doesn't really work very well. And the analogy holds. Phase. I've taken in all these images. I've done my research. I've thought about a lot of different kinds of things. Studying techniques or learning to use a new tool. I got a new Dremel. I got a new airbrush. Learning to use it before I try to create something with it. So are you willing to be a beginner? Not an expert. Being a beginner means you're going to make mistakes. You're going to do it wrong. You might even get all the way through that screenplay you're writing, and it's horrible, or that last video I made, and it's awful. But you know what? I'm willing to do it badly just to be able to do it at all, and the next one will be better. So you have to be willing to do it badly. Also, asking for input. Just because you have a perfect idea doesn't mean you know how to implement it from beginning to end. You might. Sometimes we're really lucky, and sometimes that happens. But sometimes we ask for help. Recently, I put up a Facebook poll, being stuck at home, saying, I want to do Shakespeare, but it's only me, and I don't want to play all the parts. And should I use tiny rubber cats or inanimate household objects? Ladies and gentlemen, Lady Macbeth. Asking for input, and... Sometimes you'll be surprised what you'll get. You may not take the exact idea, but it will spark something, that inspiration that you're looking for. Hi, John. Um, I hope you're still able to make the uh, TARDIS things for me. Right. I need two that are about 12 inches long and one that's 14 inches long. If that costs something, let me know. And it's about two and a half inches wide. And finally, mastering chaos. Have you ever noticed that some people just can't handle chaos? This is a very important part of the process. There's different kinds of chaos. There's harmless chaos. There's constructive, creative chaos. And there's destructive chaos. A great example would be, check out my kitchen. I don't have doors on my cupboards. 
helps my creative process. Permission to have an area of chaos allows me to implement order in whatever I'm working on. Helpful or creative chaos would be that time of gestation in the darkness of before birth when you don't know what's happening, but everything's gestating. There are days when no makeup, no shower, no housework, I lay around completely uninspired. Nobody sees that part, but it's an important part of the process. But then so in the germination phase, that's the sacred darkness of the womb of creation. That's when you have to step away. Seven mice. Is this the new standard? Seven mice? Now that we bought more mice, is this going to be our new low? Make your guess for next week's mouse hunt down in the comments. When nature has destruction, like forest fires or something, it usually facilitates new growth. And that's the difference. So in order to be creative, you have to be willing to embrace a certain amount of chaos. So while my yard might be chaotic sometimes, I get to make beautiful and fun-filled things that delight me, and sometimes they even delight others. So the qualities of being creative, taking a risk, being willing to be a beginner instead of an expert, being willing to do something badly in order to get to the other side so you can begin to learn to do it well, Asking for input. Mastering chaos. That doesn't mean controlling it. It means allowing it. Bleh, chaos. Because it's okay. Okay.